All right, fishy folks, we're here in East Jabip, Massachusetts at Uncle Ned's Fish Factory. Old school fish store, folks. Grab a snack and a beverage and stand by for some old school fish goodness. But first, pretty cool looking ponds outside. Nice koi. A little pleco. Some more goldfish. Got a simple bucket filter setup, UV sterilizer. I like the system. Similar to my massive guppy breeding system. Some duckweed and other plants in this 300 gallon. I, I kind of like a 300 gallon, maybe for, for mutt guppies. That'd be kind of cool. I'm here with my good friend Scott from King and Queen Cichlids. What's and there's, up guys? It's your boy Scott from King and Queen Cichlids. And there's Karen, master breeder and destroyer of scotting competitions. <laughs> I don't know what's in here. I'd love to know. Wow, look how big these things are. These are huge. I got to get me some huge ones. Getting an order from Central Pet. More massive ponds. Pretty simple filtration. I like it. That's for my buddy Ted Coletti. Ted, what is that? That was just the, the guy slamming the back of the truck. No problem. Let's see, what do we got over here? An awfully big pond for some Oh, well, there's a koi. Couple koi and some goldfish. Good looking setup. It's really nice out here. It's uh, currently Friday. We're up in this area for the ACA American Cichlid Association. And uh, we took a, we're going to take half a day for a fish store tour. Let's go inside, guys. This place is old school. Old school. Thank you, Karen. So we'll just take a quick pan around. They've got some shrimp and some endlers. We'll have to take a look at those. So I heard a rumor that they ship fish, so we're going to have to see if they have any guppies worth shipping fish to me for. There is the man, the myth, the legend, Alan. Karen's better half. Say hi, Alan. Hi, Alan. That's exactly what I expected. <laughs> Alan is actually funnier than I am. He's one of my favorite people in this fish world that we live in. These are all your fishes, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, little frogs. Here's some guppies. Oh, guppies. Mutts. Yeah, some mutts. Rimless tanks. I wonder if they're homemade tanks or they've just been resealed. Uh, it looks like... It's like a real wide, I think he made them. Yeah. Real wide piece of glass. Oh, look at this. This is, look how wide this is. Yeah, this is definitely a custom tank, we'll say. Some plecos, old school, sponge filter, lots of stuff on it. Lots of plants, lots of duckweed doing its thing. Got some babies, some live bear babies, maybe some platies. Tanks everywhere. Old school stores like this just have tanks everywhere. Just to, just to make sure they have enough stock. So we have some dry goods. We have a Sarah siphon, which I've never seen before. Of course, the python, the python hook. Love that thing. Some aquascaping supplies. Hermit crab stuff. Fake plants. More aquascaping supplies. Cichlid caves. Oh, there's some more guppies. Take a look and see. Five dollars for male mutts. It's a good price, if I do say so myself. We got some guppies up here that look pretty decent. Sparkling, warmy. I don't care if I didn't say it right. Deal with it, people. Some endlers. Excuse me, Karen. Look at this counter tank. Pretty cool. Oxalotos creep me out. 
some flag fish. I love all the different tanks and different size tanks. I don't see anything in here except there's a lot of mosquitoes. Good for feeding fish. Are these a pistos? Yeah. Pisto Crocotides Orange, $18 each. Not a terrible price. Got some little angels. Super Red and Sisters, $35. Maybe I should raise my price. There is a male for sure, and that might be a female. There's a couple males in there. Red Peruvian Angels. All right, this store goes on and on. Let's go take a look in this section where my boy Scott is looking at something. I don't know what these are. Pretty interesting acrylic tank with a ginormous sponge filter and I think a huge pleco. Can't see it from this side. Let's move over here. Ooh. There's my boy Scott, Whoa, say oh, hi. hi. Look at the male pleco. Love the big bristles. George bought the fish. There's George's number. Don't call George. Oh, interesting filtration setup. A little step up. Kind of weird. So far, I love the old school tanks. And uh, looks like we have a sump up top with a heater in it. Water goes in, gets filtered, goes down to this tank. And then down to this tank and then gets pumped up. Looks like we got a drain here probably for changing water would be my guess. I'm not really sure. I like it. I like the old school stuff, as you guys know. There's another Rhino Pleco, I think. Pretty cool Pleco. We're gonna get out of Alan's way so we can look at all the cool fish. He's really smart. He knows the names of like every fish. Looks like we got a little storage area back here. I think this is a 20. Is this a 20 high? It's the footprint of a 10, but high high? I think that's what it's called. I don't know. It says when they do water changes. That's pretty interesting. All right, let's take a look over here. I'm gonna try to stay out of everyone's way. Lots of cichlids, peacocks, paps, Sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just reading the signs. They could be, you know, goldfish for all I know. I'm just kidding. More cichlids. I mean, this school is as old school as it gets. Old wooden shelving. Although this one looks like it's, they just built it and used whatever wood they had lying around, at least for these pieces. This is interesting. They got the the shells hanging off the side. I like that. You guys are probably like, show us the fish. I'm all, I like the shells. Yeah, these fish do nothing for me. Sorry. Five and a half lemon jake. Green flake only, okay. I wonder if that's medicated or some sort because they're in quarantine. Lots of cichlids. Well, I gotta be honest, I've never seen a tank in a fish store that actually says ick. I'm impressed. I'm actually impressed because that means they're caring for it and they're letting everyone know they're caring for it instead of hiding it. It's a vote in my book for sure. Now, some people might say these tanks are so dirty, but I'm thinking they're just more natural, like duckweed, 
sponge filters. There's crap on the sponge filters growing. That's perfect. Those fish probably eat off that all day. All right, folks, What what is this? little fish like this with the blue that's pretty cool I don't know what that is if you know what it is leave me a comment down below and tell me buffalo heads all right I think we we went in a circle so we're gonna go this way all right more t like I said tanks everywhere just everywhere nice looking angels wow captive bred ultimate angels eight hundred dollars for seven. One, two, three, four, five. so you get all seven those are nice looking angels i'm not gonna lie got some nice looking plecos in here gold stripes maybe l zero one a you think I'm doing that from memory, don't you? Nope. Psych. All right, we got the creepy loaches. Cooley loaches just creep me out. Nope. Some super red plecos. A golden archer. Where? Don't they spit water? Oh, there it is. Isn't that their thing? And they're also brackish, right? See, I know a little bit. Just a little bit. Enough to know what I don't know. I guess. So this is must be their pond and pump section. Lots of pond stuff. I mean, they have really big ponds outside. That's pretty cool. So take a look over here. Got the cucumber. For what though? Hmm. More cichlids, ginormous cardinals. So, if you know the difference between a cardinal and a neon, uh, it's fairly easy to tell. Cardinals have the red line that goes all the way through the body, and they're usually bigger. Those are some pretty big cardinals. How much are they? They're $4.50 each. Those are pretty nice. There's also a pleco, supposedly, in here. And an axolotl, which creeped me out because they're creepy. We got some bettas. Oh my God, the bettas are in this little tiny container. What we should call PETA. It's a joke, guys. They're fine. That's a nice looking betta. Little skinny, but nice looking. Got some live arrows down here, some swords. It says red swords, but they're pretty orange. And, uh... Plecos, some snails. What is it, 33 long? I like these tanks. They'd be cool for like a bookshelf. All right, moving on. Bristle nose. I don't see any, but okay. There's something you don't see in a store every day. Killifish. I don't see any killers in there, but... I like the little lids for the five and a half gallons. Um, oh, there's a female guppy. I'm like, the sign says female guppies, but those aren't guppies, but there's a couple in there. All right, looks like they're big on Sarah. Um, we got some pond liners and some filters and some meds. More filters and pumps. All right, let's check a look at this aisle. Love the old schoolness. I like how they have plecos in every tank. Um, yeah. I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I wonder if they know. Got some platies. And some plecos in there. And the lotions. Tequila Sunrise Guppies. Not bad. They don't look, I mean, tails are a little, mm, but they, they don't have sunken belly. They don't look like they're too skinny or anything. They're all very, very active. That's good. Pretty happy. 
125. We got some uh, electric blue rams and other stuff. We got the pond filters up there in bulk, which is cool. All right, moving along over here. Some platies and epistos in the same tank. Interesting. 55s on the bottom with the creepy goldfish eyes. Don, that's really creepy, buddy. I don't care what you say. That's right. New York Gold, shout out. Interesting display tank. Some swords and a male guppy. And what else? A couple of glowfish. The glow um, tiger barbs are kind of weird. I mean, they're all weird, but they're kind of kind of cool in a way. <coughs> Those glowfish are not dyed. They're actually the DNA has been jacked with goldfish. More tank, more tank, more display tank, um, more display tank, what am I trying to say? Counter display tank with a cool eel in it. Right, looks like there's some discus in here. $29 each, not bad, and a pallet full of uh, plants. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Very old school store. Wherever they can fit stuff, they fit stuff. Office. Oh, a 15 column. Was that what that other tank is? Another office and more tanks. Two and a half gallon for sale. 75 gallon for 175. All right. One more tiny room with tanks. This must be the planted tank room. Nope. Oh, maybe. Let's start over here. Geos for all you guppy, guppy lovers. Uh, Geos for all you Geo lovers. L128 Blue Phantom. I'm guessing that's him. That's them in the cave. Divided 80 gallon. That's a pretty cool tank too with rabbit snails, I think. Also something down there. And some plants. And some other fishies. Their small stock of wood. Not as nice wood as Keith from KJE. What exactly do you think that is? Was that cucumber from a couple days ago? Some plecos in the back. There's some really tiny discus. And a big aqua clear filter there. Old school. Angels and planted tanks. And green severums. All right, fishy folks. That's it from Uncle Ned's old school fish store tour. Hope you liked it. Check them out online. Have a great day.